Okay, a lot of sports here with Jesse Magdaleno, the new WBO 122-pound uh, champion. Tell us, man, how does that feel? I mean, it feels great. You know, it's uh, it's a dream come true. You know, um, <laughs> all that hard work paid off. All that time that we spent in the gym for this for that day, um, it paid off. And uh, now, look, we're world champions, and it, it's a it's a great feeling. During the fight, was there anything that surprised you about Nanito? Honestly, uh, no. You know, I thought I thought he was gonna come out and like do what he he does in all his fights, and uh, he didn't. You know, he he, he didn't he didn't come in and do what uh, what I expected, and uh, I outworked him, I outboxed him, and uh, I did everything that uh, that everybody thought I couldn't do. I I was noticing that. Even though his hands were fast, his speed was kind of still there, but you were always under the punches. How, what was it? He was he telegraphing it? Was there something you saw that, that let you know that it was coming? I telegraphed a lot of his punches, you know, because uh, his body work, his, head, his movement, it, it, it wasn't, um, it was very slow, you know. He, I knew when he was going to punch and I knew when he was going to move and uh, throw a certain punch. You know, he, he was very readable and that's exactly what happened and um, that's why I was able to get under the left hook and, and dodge his, uh, his right hand a lot too. Uh, you got you got some little stitches right here in your uh, your eyebrow. Um, was, was was did that bother you during the fight? Kind of the blood going in your eye? Man, no, I didn't even know I was cut. I didn't even have an idea that I was cut. Um, Miguel did such a great work that it surprised me. You know, I, I went back to the corner, not even worried about it because he he's such a great cut man. You know, and uh, he's a very intelligent being in there, and uh, he did a great job, and he, he kept me he kept me not even worried about my eye. Well, uh, you know, I, I know you've had a few weeks off now, you know, time to kind of reflect uh, and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, fight fans always, you know, we always want to know what's next, what's, what's, what's going to be the next step. Is, do you have anyone in mind that you're looking to get in the ring with next? As of right now, no. Um, we're waiting to see what's, what's next. You know, I'm going to sit down with, and talk with Frank and, uh, and, uh, and uh, top rank and see what's next for me. But, you know, like I always say, I'm ready for whoever it is. You know, whoever's at 122, uh, 122 pounds and got a title or, you know, or who's uh, next in line for me, I'm ready for it. You know, I, I don't dodge anybody. I don't duck anybody. I'm ready for, uh, for the best. Tell me, man, I, I, I go to the gym. I, I see you in the gym all the time. Uh, what difference did, did Manny make uh, in this fight, this title fight? He made a huge difference, man. Not, not, not only mentally, but physically. And it showed, you know, when I got on that scale, I was, this is, that was the ripest I've ever been as, as a fighter. And, um, you know, just seeing that, you know, just motivating me even more and wanting me to come in, uh, come in uh, Saturday, that, that Saturday night, November 5th, and, uh, and put on a great show. You know, I was that motivated that, um, I was ready to uh, go in there and just do what I had to do, and that's exactly what happened. Well, you looked phenomenal, man. That was definitely a great performance. Uh, just last question. I, I want to get your take on last week's fight, Kovalev versus Ward. Uh, you know, a lot, there was a lot of controversy about it, a lot of back and forth. People saw it one way, people saw it the other way. What, what was your take on it? You know, I watched it the first time, okay, but when I watched it the second time, I, I give it. I give it a Kovalev. You know, it was. Uh, I thought he won the fight. I thought he did most of the work. I thought he. I thought he pulled it off more than um, more than Ward did. You know, and that's what happens. You know, favoritism kicks in, and uh, you know, politics kick in, and uh, they, they 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 give it to the wrong man when you know the right man should have uh, should have deserved it. And I thought Kovalev pulled it off. What well, what goes through your mind when you see something like that as a fighter? Do you feel like? You need to go for the knockout more. Like, what, what what goes through your mind being that this maybe could happen to you one day? Of course, you know, I I I've always had that in the back of my mind. You know, that's why so much out of my career, I impacted so many knockouts because I didn't want that day to come. And still to this day, I don't want that day to come because it's it's uh you can't leave it to the judges. You never know what's gonna happen. You can fight a guy who's favorite, and uh, just like how I did on uh, November fifth, and. You know, I had that slight doubt in my mind as well. When they say unanimous decision, I kind of thought um, for a, a second in my mind, I was like, damn, they're going to give it to Donaire. But um, in the bottom of my heart, I knew I won the fight. And um, But yeah, you got to go in there and you got to do your work. You know, for the either for the full 12 rounds, you really got to show the judges that you kick butt or you got to get that knockout. Oh, yeah, man, you did. Uh, you had an amazing performance. It was great to watch, man, and uh, and you should be proud of yourself. Thank you so much for the time, man. Thank you. I very am. Thank you. Appreciate it.